human experience that we do this, we, we, we look for meaning, we look for pattern, uh, we create order out of what could be chaos, I guess. I mean, it seems like it's order. I mean, I, I can kind of predictably, uh, you know, go get my coffee in the morning, and it's like I, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's going to happen. So it, at least it satisfies my own needs. But it's one point. From another point, you can say, I want to get coffee. Yes. So I get it. Yes. What is the I? <laughs> well, see, I don't know that there are answers to these. It's like, we, it's a great discussion, but I kind of feel that, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I do think about this all the time, you know. Uh, but on the other hand, I still go get my coffee, too. You know, I mean, that's something I, 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 I choose, maybe, I'm making a choice, mm -hmm. like, uh, to disconnect mm -hmm. from the, the radiance eternity so I can manage that cup of coffee. Because mm -hmm. uh, it allows me, when I disconnect from it, maybe it allows me to uh, take care to of some need. <laughs> yeah, that, that I feel like I want it. I want to yeah. handle, you know. But, um, but I do recognize that it is a disconnection. Mm -hmm. it, it is, it is a, a going into the ego. It going into myself as a... As a like here I am, like looking out, you know. And I see psychedelics obliterate that. I mean, that's one of the, you know, I think before I had experiences, uh, you know, you just kind of walk around the world and you, you know, you're awake or you're asleep or maybe you have a little pain, you know, you stub your toe or you burn your finger or something. But then psychedelics show you that there is this whole other uh, experience and and that your individual ego is like is I mean, we're all connected. It's just like one big thing going on, you know. I mean that that to me was my uh, I'm most grateful for uh, the seeing how everything is connected. I believe that a lot of the uh, changes in Western culture that have occurred, and there could be more. But things like the uh, ecology movements, uh, women's movements, civil rights movements. I mean, we have recycling now. I mean, we never had that, you know, when I was growing up. People would take their, you know, can of soda or beer and throw it out the window of their car. Nobody does that anymore. And I think that, I, I believe that part of that consciousness arose out of the widespread use of psychedelics in the 1960s and people said well we can't do this I mean this is our own we're living it we're, we're part of this and so uh, even people who have not had a psychedelic experience are benefiting from people who did have psychedelic experience because they changed how we do things. Yeah, but you know for example in Germany